So we're going to take our time and see if it opens. So far, so good. Oh, hey guys, you almost caught me. I was about to make those room room noises. Welcome to Envision Prototypes. I'm Nick. Well, what do you guys think? Looks pretty good, eh? It feels great in here. Got lots of leg room. Steering wheel position is nice. Tons of shoulder room. Our client's a little smaller in terms of stature than I am, so he'll have plenty of space in his car. Visibility is perfect. I was going to put the windscreen in place, but we don't have those rubber grommets mounted. And I don't want to stand the chance of chipping the glass if it uh, sits on the bare metal edge. So we're going to leave that over there for, for now. I did drop the seat in right now because I want to get a kind of a feel as to how things are. We spent a lot of time working on the interior structure, basically completing all the spot welds, dressing everything up and finalizing everything before it heads out to primer. And yes, I said primer, but not here. All the areas are going to be covered up afterwards. So we're going to take the rockers off, shoot everything inside, seal everything so nothing rusts, and then reassemble the shell, the exterior shell over top of the structure. So that's basically what brings us up to today. So we're going to take all the exterior panels and we're going to reassemble them onto the car. With all the work that we did on the structure, things may have moved somewhere here or there. I don't think they did, but we're going to check and make sure they haven't. So that once it's primed, all we do is reassemble the structure or the, um, the exterior shell. Um, I mentioned before this is going to be a roadster, so it's not going to have a roof on there. We'll have the windscreen and then later on we'll create an airfoil that sits just behind the seats here. It kind of completes that look, giving it a road race feel. So uh, yeah, let's get to work and test fit everything one more time. And uh, I've been saying that all along, you know, one more time, one more time. I sound like Columbo, but uh, it's one of those things that you have to do with a project like this. You can't get tired or bored of fitting and refitting things because that's just what it is. Now to get out of this car. We got all the panels laid out around the car. We're going to start with the assembly of the back there. But I just wanted to show you the front clamshell structure and how that opens up. Now we've got all the stops all built in. And well, there you go. So the two fender sides, the hood center section, and the whole front fascia will all be one piece and open up towards the front just like that. In one of the earlier videos, I showed how we hand formed this fender feature here into this large fender section up, up above, and which is part of the clamshell up there. So that when that comes down, when the clamshell comes down, the structure comes down, it interfaces with this side panel here in such a way that you don't have daylight shining through. So when you look from the side of the car, you see the gap. When you look between the gap, you won't see daylight into the motor compartment. You'll just have a nice, consistent gap because of this return leg upward. This has to be finished yet. But you can see, well, when we have the fender mounted back on there, how the two come together and how well everything finishes off. I'm going to start with the quarter panels and work my way towards the back.
Okay, so all this is lining up really well through here. We have a little bit of excess material. I have a mark there that I uh, basically described for it to be cut away. But until we get the back section completely established, uh, I'm going to leave this where it is for now. Uh, up in here, this little section here is coming up a bit. We'll come down. All of our witness lines are lining up properly. Our tabs are lining up. We have a bit of excess material here. We'll be trimming that away and basically finishing it up up there. Uh, we can get started on this rear tail pan now. Get that installed. Okay, so I'll get the machine over here and we'll tack these pieces in. This actually sits right there. Just lining up our marks and our old tacks. And I've readjusted the structure back in here to accept this extra depth that we created with this piece here. So that's all fitting in really well. Uh, once the rear section is together, we're gonna adjust this rear piece here because I think it has to drop down another three quarters of an inch or so. But uh, we'll get this tacked in place. Get the other piece stacked in place and then uh, get the lower balance installed. Okay, so I'm just double checking our tacks here and everything's line up, lining up to where it was before. So I'm really happy about that. Nothing's moved. You know, after all the work we did on this lower structure here, if something moved, I wouldn't have been surprised, but thumbs up, everything's good. So right now I'm gonna take and bring the uh, bottom uh, fascia in, get that held up into place and put a few tacks on that to make sure that all that is good. And then we'll move on to the front and finish the front off. Some of you might think it's a bit pointless to do all this extra work in terms of refitting everything to make sure that everything lines up, but uh, I'll sleep a lot better knowing that when it comes back from primer, all we have to focus on at that point is just assembly and not recurving panels or adjusting flanges and whatever just to make things fit. So this extra little bit of time we put in right now is well worth it in the end. Now, I'm not going to bother joining all this back together as long as I know my main features line up that'll all come into play afterwards. On this side here I didn't cut away the excess material I still have my original screw holes that uh, we set up earlier so all I have to do is put a screw back in and you can see right away that everything is lining up. I mentioned earlier some of this has to be trimmed away, but until everything's established, then we can start finalizing that. Now in this area here, I can take this over to the bench, weld all that up permanent, and then bring it back. I'm not worried about this moving. It's these lines coming together that I'm worried about. So, uh, so far so good. These pieces will be done later. Let's go to the front and get the front assembled. With the front panels, I found it a lot easier to suspend them vertically and mount it this way than to lay them down. because they have a tendency to slide off the car when you let them go. There we go. That one's pinned. Okay, we'll have to hem this over afterwards. Now we can close this front tire shell. Gotta line these properly because we got fixed it. And that. Okay, we're good. So we can put the center section on. Okay, that's looking good. 
Yeah, we're not going to be joining the hood to the fender just yet. There's still a bit of work in wheeling the hood to get the reflections to travel properly. What I need to focus on is while this is pinned here, we're going to get the side panels mated to the fender feature so that uh, all the gaps are proper in that area. And then once I'm happy with that and all the structures pinned to the fenders, the fenders aren't moving anywhere, then we'll get the hood mounted to the fenders. If everything's moving around, it's kind of hard to to uh, join pieces together and, and ensure that all the gaps everywhere are proper. So basically the process is gonna be to set the fenders to the side sail panels behind the wheels there, both sides, get those established. And then once the fenders aren't moving anywhere, then we set the hood. We can scribe and cut all that away and blend it in nice. Uh, let's get that screw in and then the front fascia. Okay, so I talked about this area here before, and it might look like a wavy mess. And it's only because we don't have a structural support here joining the hood skin to the clamshell uh, structure that's underneath. So once that's installed, we'll take and the hood over top of that, and that will just take care of all that. Everything's fitting up really well right now. All the screws have gone into the original locations and all the panels are fitting really well. So uh, there's a little area here that needs to be touched up, but I'm really happy with everything else here. Uh, the revised pivot system is working good and I'm gonna get this piece installed here. Now you're probably looking at these two tabs. Well, this tab here, there's one more over here. We left that just so we can do this at this point. We're gonna start tacking and um, lining everything up, tacking it. And then these excess pieces of metal are going to be trimmed away and gotten rid of. And it'll be butt jointed all the way down and around the bottom. And we'll just fill up that little hole there. So this allows us to connect all the panels easily when we're pre-fitting everything. One small tack here in the middle, join that to the front fascia there. And uh, once I have this area massaged, I'll take and go through, tack all this together, and uh, we can then take it off the car and finish it up on the bench. I'm sure you guys are curious, I know I am, to see how this is going to open up. Um, there's a few flanges that need to be turned down here yet, so that might bind on the tire. So we're going to take our time and see if it opens. So far, so good. Yeah, the flange is kind of catching, catching the tire just ever so slightly. Look at that. Nice and easy. That looks good. Now, we'll probably never open it this far forward because we don't want the nose touching the ground once, it's on, once, once the car is sitting on the actual ground. It's really close right now. But overall, wow, that looks good. Okay. That's got to move in a little bit there. Good. Look at that. It didn't break it. Well, I'm really happy as to how everything came out on this Electro build. Uh, all the exterior panels, they lined up exactly where they were before we did all the structural detailing, all the screws, all the marks lined up perfectly. So now we can take and cut the tacks, take the screws out and take all the panels back off the car. I didn't think anything would move, but you can never tell until you do this test fit. And I'd sooner do it now than later. So anyway, we're happy with that. The car can now go over. We can move it over for primer, get everything primed. And in the meantime, while that's being done, I can work on the front and rear fascias, get all those welded up, finished, 
and uh, that way when the car comes back we can do the final final assembly there's no going back and test fitting panels at that point we're going to be in the home stretch okay guys so thanks a lot for watching give us a thumbs up and see you in the next episode take care i'm gonna go for a drive